2016 felt like an unprecedented year for indie games. From Firewatch to Stardew Valley to even No Man's Sky, games coming from independent studios and tiny development teams shook up the gaming industry and, for better or for worse, captured the attention of the entire world. But that was last year. That's old news now. The real question is, what do we have to look forward to this year? Well, to help you guide you on your way, here are our picks for the hidden gems that you need to look out for in 2017. If you've ever wanted a 2D Dark Souls game, look no further than Death's Gambit. The game's pixel art and animation is drop-dead gorgeous, but they play second fiddle only to the game's ridiculously difficult bosses. Taking hints from Castlevania, Shadow of the Colossus, and the Souls series, Death's Gambit will offer players plenty of weapons and abilities to take down the behemoths that traverse its forsaken lands. From the developers behind 2013's co-op heist game, Monaco, comes Tooth and Tail, a beautifully animated arcade-style RTS game. Players take control of an army of woodland creatures, waging war across an unlimited plane of procedurally generated maps. Despite its simple-looking controls, you can and are encouraged to play the game with a controller. The combat is exciting and offers a level of depth on par with any real-time strategy out there. Created entirely by one man, Gorgoa combines incredibly detailed illustrations with heavy comic book elements to create a puzzle game like no other. By stacking and unstacking each picture, you'll be able to connect the drawings and create some unbelievable scenes within each frame. Whether you play it for the gameplay or just to admire its lovely art, Gorgoa looks to be that cathartic experience for us to all rest our eyes on. If you've ever wondered what it's like to be a bat, Perception might be the game for you. Former Bioshock and Dead Space developers have teamed up to create the first-person adventure game that will test your fears as well as your senses. As Cassie, a blind woman who's looking for answers in a mysterious mansion, you'll have only your echolocation powers to guide you through the darkness. Combine that with some excellent sound design and you've got an unsightly horror game worthy of your time. Developer Thunder Lotus impressed everyone with their first game, Jotun, and they're looking to once again dazzle players with their new game, Sundered. In what they're calling a horrifying fight for survival and sanity, you'll wander across an HP Lovecraft-inspired world, battling grotesque creatures, and hopefully keeping your mind intact by the end. And with its eye-popping, hand-drawn art style, Sundered looks absolutely stunning. What was once a PS4 exclusive is now coming to all major platforms, and thank goodness, because Rhyme looks like the adventure game we've all been missing in our lives. Set on a mysterious island, you'll traverse the ruins of an ancient civilization to unearth the secrets from within. Rhyme will offer an open world full of monsters, puzzles, as well as a storyline free of any spoken dialogue and with a cel-shaded style that appears to draw inspiration from games like The Wind Waker or Eco, this will be one journey we can't wait to embark on. Well hello, good looking! With environmental puzzles contained by a seemingly infinite architectural space, Manifold Garden is proving to be just as challenging as it is beautiful. Early puzzles have shown that sometimes you'll have to fall far to land on the correct space, so you'll have to get over any fears of heights you might have. But with a calming aesthetic and serene audio tracks, this game proves to be more of a relaxing and thoughtful experience than one for thrills. Don't let its pastel palette fool you though, Manifold Garden is filled with puzzles that will turn your head inside out, and that might be the best mindset to wrap your brain around these impossible MC Escher style structures. So those are our picks for the best upcoming hidden gems of 2017. I'm sure I left some games off this list that you're dying to play, so please, if you have one in mind, yell at me in the comments so I can put it on my radar. And for more coverage on all the best indie games, stay tuned to GameSpot.